today I am doing Candace Swanepoel's Vogue makeup tutorial. I am so excited. You guys probably know by now how much I love Candace. She is my muse. She is my dream girl. So when I saw the video this morning, I freaked out and I had to recreate her look. I hope you guys enjoy. So let's get into it. Okay, you guys. Hi. So this part of the video, I'm filming two videos in one. I am recreating Candace Swanepoel's Vogue like get ready with me video, but she did her hair in it as well. So I'm gonna do the hair separately from the makeup. So let's get started. So she started off with the face oil, but since my face is so dry right when I get out of the shower, I did that before I did my hair. Now she goes in with a bronzer. So I'm actually going to mix a little bit of my Vita Liberata body blur in with just some Pond's cream, and then we're gonna rub this all over the face. The bronzer on the face. Here we go. Ooh, rubbing the skin. Look, my face is turning red. Okay. All right, you guys. So she mixes a little bit of an oil with concealer so it smooths it out. I've never done that before, but she's using more of like a creamy concealer instead of like, how do I describe it? A concealer like this. So I'm going to do a little bit of a mix of both of these because this is a little more pinky. I want to say this is more for color correcting, if anything. There we go. And now, so I'm mixing pot then I'm gonna add this that's smart I'm gonna put it in places where I usually put it around my nose right there where I have redness and I'm gonna take this little guy pot it all out wow I actually really like doing the concealer with the oil I've never done that before, Candace that was so smart now Miss Candace is going in with some setting powder I just have a loose banana powder here. I don't set with a brush, but I'm going by her rules today. So we're gonna try that, see how that turns out. I usually always set with the sponge, but I'm trusting Miss Candace. Okay, now we're on to blush. I'm using Tarte's, whatever, Accio. I have no idea. I've never used this color before, so pray for me that I like it. Well, I never use blush, like literally ever, because I'm a little afraid of it. She uses it with her hand, she's like dabbing it in. Oh, she also puts this on her eyelids. She's going like this. She also did a little bit of blush on the nose. I'm nervous for that. She's going back in with another concealer, which I don't have. But I have this like contour palette and I'm actually going to use, it's very dirty. I'm going to use the shade Pop. It's like the highlight color and I'm going to use that to just kind of give it some extra coverage. Now she's going in and curling her lashes. Okay, so she uses two different pencils for her brows. I just have this one, so I'm gonna use the one that I have. I just ran out of my normal, which is by Chella in the shade Tantalizing Taupe, but I just ran out of this, so I'm using my collab or collab, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. It's a little dark for my brows right now, but I would go a shade lighter, but we're gonna work with it. I just wanna fill them in so they still look natural, but full and bushy. When I was a kid, Candace talks about it in her Vogue video, how when she was younger, she would like tweeze out her eyebrows and they were like, don't do that, so she stopped. When I was younger, everyone was like, you need to tweeze those brows. They're so thick, blah, 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 blah. And now it's like, my eyebrows are thick and I'm just, I'm still trying to get them to grow back all the way, you know? So if you have big bushy brows and even if thin brows come back in for whatever reason, don't pluck them, keep them. I don't know if she set, sets her brows, but I'm setting mine because they will move. These brow hairs will do whatever they want. Just taking a light clear gel. Now she goes into mascara. We're kind of all over the place here, but that's kind of how I do my makeup too. So I get it. I like it. Today I am using Superhero by It Cosmetics. I got this in a box, I want to say, in like a boxy charm or something. I'm really, really liking this because I need a new mascara. So, you know when you get a mascara and it's still super juicy? My favorite mascara is when it's like dried out a little bit. So, honestly, I'll leave my mascara just like open for a little <laughs> until it fixes itself. Like, this is still wet. So, do you see how it got kind of clumpy? So, I'm gonna go in with my dried out cover girl and I'm gonna use the wand to brush this through and separate everything. I always do a lighter mascara on my bottom lashes because I do have long bottom lashes as well. So I just, I want them to be seen but I don't want that to be the distraction 
of the whole eye look. Oh, look at her. She made a mess. Girl, so did I. I need to get a Q-tip. Okay, you guys, can you give me a Q-tip? Wow. I really got it everywhere. Okay, she is using like a mauve tone shade for her eyeshadow, which is, you know, something I've noticed watching these Vogue videos. A few models do their mascara before their eyeshadow, which is so not what I do. I don't really own a mauve tone, so we're gonna kind of make one up. I have a different blush here, and then I also have this shade by Pixi, like this brown, so we might kind of do a little mixing and see what we come up with. So a little into the blush, a little into the brown, let's see. That might have been a little more color than I meant, but hey, we're going with it. That was a lot more color than I meant. <laughs> now to tone this down, I'm actually gonna go in with that highlight color that I used under my eyes to kind of tone it down because we don't need all this craziness. We're going to add a little bit of this under the eye as well, which I appreciate because not everybody does under the eye and just under the eye is just as important. So I'm just gonna mix the highlight color and that brown. It feels so weird for me to be doing this with my mascara on already. How fun is this to do this for Vogue? That's like my dream in this life, to work with Vogue. Do a video like this with Vogue, are you kidding? Go Candace. All right, next she's going in with a lip balm. Right now I'm just gonna use my Nivea Moisture Self Care. Self Care, Lip Care. She's using like a Shea Butter one or a Cocoa Butter one and I need that. <laughs> now this babe is going in with some contour, which I'm super excited about that's always my favorite part Ooh, here we go Whew. yes this is what I needed for my soul I always love doing contour I love any sort of bronzer anything that's gonna bring some life back into my face not only do I like that it, I feel tan but I feel like it really makes the blue of my eyes pop which is really really important to me she does a little on the nose as well thank goodness because that's my favorite <laughs> Now after her contour, she goes in with a bronzer, which yes, you guys, is different. Sometimes I treat it the same, but she's going in with her Hula bronzer. I don't have that, but I have this from Becca in Capri Coast. So we'll use a little bit of this, because this is gonna really bring me to life. We're gonna use this all over the forehead. I will go literally all over the forehead. I know you don't wanna do too much, but hey, on the chest. Oh, give me that bronze glow. <laughs> now she's going in with a lip tint. I have this one from Benefit, I have the Benetint. I never really use this, so I feel like I don't know how. It just looks like I ate a sucker. <laughs> now she's going in with a highlighter. I'm gonna, we're gonna fix this mouth soon because this just looks like I ate a popsicle and I don't think that's the vibe she's going for. Now she's going with a highlighter, but she's using her fingers, so I'm just gonna do the same. This is Opal from Becca. Oh, she's also using some highlight. She did some right here in the inner eyes. She puts it on her lid a little too. Now she's gonna give herself some eyeliner. I'm not doing this part because I don't own eyeliner, so we're skipping this. For her lipstick, she actually uses a brush first, so I'm gonna see if I can do the same. She uses the brush so it's not so harsh, which is smart. I'm huge on my lips, you guys know this. I will like, I will fully overline my lips. I don't care, I love lips. Let's get rid of my popsicle mouth. Her lips are so howdy and perfect. I'm gonna use a little bit of this tone because her color is a little more rosy, like more naturally toned, which I wanna duplicate that, so. She also went ahead and used a little highlight on her lips as well, which I think is so cute. So gonna go in. She went in finally for a little setting powder under the eyes again, just to make sure everything is good to go. Here we go. I think she used a sponge that time. She did, so we'll do it sponge style. Woo! Boom, there we go. Now is when she finishes off her hair, but that's going to be in a separate video, so I'll see you in a sec. All right, you guys, here is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and yeah. Um, you guys will see the hair tutorial in a few days. I had to try it a few times because when I took it out, it was perfect. Then I tried to perfect it, and then I think I messed it up a little bit. But I will have that video up for you in a few days. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Anyways, I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys.